in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how I view pre-snap and the questions that I ask that I think make me successful uh, as an offensive and defensive player in Madden 18. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at uh, just some tips, some questions, some just kind of systems that I've put in place to help myself pre-snap in Madden 18. And so the reason that I do this, guys, and the reason that I want to do this video is because I believe that if you can master the mental side of the game, you can really be pretty solid. And what we're going to be looking at today is just some questions. And so the, the reason that you want to read pre-snap is because what it's going to do is if you get a good pre-snap read, it's going to ideally give you a good post-snap uh, point of emphasis. You're going to know where to go. You're going to know what you need to do um, post-snap. And so the basic question I ask myself at the beginning is what am I open to? What am I vulnerable to? And really then the second question that is really important is what am I seeing multiple times? And when I see when, when, whenever I ask, what am I seeing multiple times? That is normally one of the most informative questions that you can ask in Madden 18. And the reason, the reason you ask that question, is because if someone is running just rando plays and they're just doing, you know, all kinds of random, random stuff, then you, it's very difficult to really get a read on them. However, what you can do and what that allows you to do is if, if people are doing that, if they're running, if they're running very, very similar um, or not similar, if they're running very, very standard sets, then you can imagine they're probably going to be running very, very standard routes. And so I want to talk about this just real quick. But before I get into this any further, I want to welcome you guys if this is your first time on my channel. Uh, I really want to welcome you guys. I want, to pre I want you to let you know that I appreciate you stopping by, and I hope that this video is helpful to you. What we try to do here is we just try to make videos that help people get better at Madden. And anyways, guys, real quick, uh, one other thing I wanted to touch on before we jump back into this is if you want more detailed instruction, if you want actual blueprint systems and processes and things that I've put in place on my side, then check out my premium membership. It's in the description below. We're going to be sending out an update video tomorrow morning to all of our premium members. And what that means is we re we released, they get access to all of my guides. So I'm going to release about six eBooks over the course of this season. I've already released um, two. And then what else they're going to be able to get is if you get a premium membership, you're going to get what I just said as an update video. And what an update video is, is basically I get on the mic and I just talk about things that I'm learning, seeing, and doing this week. And it's about an hour long. But anyways, guys, let's get back into this. So Pre-snap, so if I'm the quarterback, if he's coming out in, like right here, he comes out in four down linemen, looks like it's a nickel normal set. And what I'm looking for is what is he doing repeatedly? What is he doing repeatedly? What is his tendencies? Okay, and that's going to give me a lot of information about where I need to go next. What are my next steps? Right there, I forced a throw because it was offsides penalty, and uh, and we're just going to get a free five yards. So he, he can run it all the way back. I'm not going to worry about it. Whenever, 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 this is really important, when, whenever you're in a pre-snap situation, one of the problems that people don't understand is offense, you need to take your time, but defense, you need to speed up your process. And so the questions that ask on offense are a little bit different, even though very similar, they are a little bit different than the questions I ask on defense. And the reason for that is because of the amount of time I have on offense compared to the amount of time I have on defense on defense right there he came out in the same exact play he got an interception so he figured he would run the same play it was a nickel normal cover two uh, or uh, a nickel normal play and we end up hitting him for a touchdown there now the reason it's important to come out in the same formation every time in my opinion is because it's going to force the defense to somewhat simplify their play calling Again, if they're if they're just coming out in random plays, like a random sets. So if someone comes out, like if he comes out right now on this drive, if he comes out in an I formation set, and then he goes to a shotgun five wide, there's not a whole lot of thought. And what you can then assume is he's going to be running the most popular plays from those formations, and that's why it's important to know that. It's important to know 
you know, what are they probably going to do? And from what my experience is, you know, generally speaking, you're going to see people run um, post routes, corner routes, um, some drag routes. I mean, there's very, very little innovation. So here he comes out, single back wide trips, completely new formation for me. So what I do is I just play a base defense against it. Nothing crazy, but I'm expecting, like that right there, I was expecting four verticals. Because from trips sets like that, when they go spread trips, like what he just did, like wide trips, normally you're going to see four verticals. Um, you know, now Obviously, that's a generalization, but you'll be shocked at how many times I'm accurate on that. Here he comes back, same formation, probably not going to go wide trips now. What he's probably going to do is he's probably going to run some other play action play or something like that. So I know i got to be on my guard. Here he ends up running the ball. is actually a really good call by him. Um, we just ended up making a block shed. But anyways, guys, the question that you're asking yourself, and you're really trying to figure out is what is he repeating? What is he doing consistently, especially on defense? Because you don't have a whole lot of time to adapt. You really don't um, because you only have about seven seconds pre-snap to be able to make, a, make your hot routes and everything. So you need to come out with a kind of a game plan of what you're going to run. Here he goes to strong eye. Or weak eye, but he ran that angle play to the fullback last time. We'll see. Now he goes to a screen pass. Um, and that's just part of being a middle linebacker right there. You know, I just read that. Just when you see the lineman going, you know it's a screen. So that's one of the reasons why I, I recommend to use the middle linebacker. Um, fourth down. Now, again, here's another thing. you got to come in with a pre-staged plan. So I know fourth down, what's he probably going to do? He's probably going to pass, right, obviously. But he's also, he's probably going to pass the ball down the field. Probably an out route, some type of crossing route here is what we're going to see. There's the four verticals again. Those four verticals, I stay with him. We get the sack and we get the turnover. So, again, it's just kind of thinking through. And what I would do, if I were you, this is what I kind of do, is, is, is while we're choosing our play at the play call screen, here's what I'm asking myself. What is he probably going to do? What is he probably going to do? And then, and then, I don't stop there. Because once the ball is, once we go out there, then I look at his formation. And I ask myself, is he in the same formation? Has my, Basically, have I seen this before? And if I have seen it before, then I'm going to plan to stop his tendency. Whatever his tendency may be, whether he runs drag routes whether he runs crossing routes, whether he runs post routes, whatever it is, um, people normally have um, some type of tendencies that you can normally zero in on and focus in on. So um, anyways, guys, that is kind of one of the things that I do in terms of pre-snap. So I figured I'd put this video together and just kind of see if this helps. So if it was helpful, please let me know. Um, and then I want to finally, I want to really just encourage you guys to check out that premium membership because if you get the premium membership, what the premium membership is going to do for you is you're going to get access to quite a significantly more detailed analyze and breakdown. So you guys definitely want to check that out. And um, and yeah, guys, that's that's pretty much all I got. Remember, if you're new to the channel, I really do appreciate you guys stopping in and at least checking us out. And if you could just do me a favor and leave your name in the comments and let me know what is something that I can help you with in Madden 18. Looking forward to seeing you guys in tomorrow's video. And premium members, be sure to check your email for an update video. Thanks, guys.